Well, we're here at Ikea. We're hoping to find a countertop for our trailer. As you know, we're doing a remodel on the kitchen. Make yeah. it a little more functional, hopefully. Yeah, and maybe some other stuff. They, I guess they have a lot of stuff for tiny houses. I've never been here, so I guess we'll see what's here. All right, we'll see on the inside. Well, here we are. This place is monstrous. It's crazy big. So we are wandering around Ikea. There is so much stuff in here. It's all like tiny house living stuff, so that's kind of cool. So I am going to tackle this kitchen. I'll turn the camera around and give you a little better view, but uh, there's, well, you might be able to see good here. There's literally about three and a half inches of counter space here. Um, it's a little thicker out here, but not much over here either. So I'm going to, we are going to replace the sink, the stove and the countertop. So I'm gonna start that process now and I'll try and take some pictures and do some video in between and hopefully get this thing done within a week or two here. All right, let's get going. So I've got the drain unhooked right there. And I got one of these weird clip things out. They go up under the sink and they, they just kind of twist in. All right, so I got all those out. Yeah, so these sinks, if anyone's doing one of these, a uh, 3 8 socket is best to fit on this head. But these just uh, push in here and then they rotate down. And this flips out and holds the counter in place or the sink in place on the bottom of the counter. So anyway, there's four of those, uh, three eight socket. So part of the reason we hate this stove is you have to literally take it apart in order to do anything with it, to clean it, to do anything. And plus it takes up all counter space. The burner grates removed now, but basically to clean the stove, you have to take out these here and they're, they're like a thumb screw, but you can't get them out with your thumb. And Food, you know, this fits flushed with the counter, of course, but food goes in here, it goes in here. There's a huge, huge gap around it. I mean, put my fingers in here, literally. Um, and then down around this edge, you can see is nasty. And we're probably a little bit clean freaks, but this stove, we hated from the day it got, that we got the trailer. Um, literally, that's what you have to do to take it apart to clean it. Just take everything off of it so anyway we'll have a new stove shortly all right so i got the stove out it's uh fairly easy it's a pretty basic setup there there's four screws that go here and then it just screws into the the pan here gas line um and i'll have to do a little modification to that i'm sure for the new stove but that shouldn't be too bad i'll get this out the frame work and then uh probably see if i can get the countertop out and then we'll go from there so yeah shouldn't be too bad so the next step we will do is we'll go down under here and i'm gonna move this a little bit uh there anyway i gotta get up under the counter here and take out all the screws that hold the countertop on hopefully you can see that because i can't <laughs> Okay, well, I got the sink out and finished getting the stove out and ended up getting the counter out. It's loose here. Um, it's kind of weird. There's tons of staples from the bottom up. So I'm going to have to get rid of those for the new countertop. Um, it also had a lot of, uh, like, screws going up into it. There's kind of some holes you can kind of see. But they went... They actually went up through this this trim right here up into it and they were only around the front edge they were never none of them were on the back edge or by the, the wall but uh anyway that's that's that for now got it out and uh the new countertop we have it's kind of in the back between the motorcycles it looks like a total disaster because we're here in albuquerque visiting family 
and I am working on this without unloading all of our stuff. So a little bit cramped, but it works. Hey, thanks for watching this week's video. We'll do part two when we start putting the kitchen back together. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go take a quick walk. We're, they call it the graveyard, I guess. I'll try and, <laughs> it's a water spillway here in Albuquerque. And behind us is a Arroyo, I guess they call it. And way in the back is the Sandia Crest Mountains. So anyway, we'll see you next week and We'll try and get the kitchen put back together. Thank you out to my sister's boyfriend for lending us all the tools we needed to get this job done.